Hocus Pocus is a musical documentary about the Sanderson sisters, the three most fabulous pop culture witches of the last 25 years. Elphaba, Sabrina, and Hermione sold separately. They live in Salem during a 17th century witch hunt, so spoiler alert, they get totes executed. Fast forward 300 years later. It's the early 90s and the world is so modern. Three people even have cell phones. Suddenly we're supposed to care about this punk Max, a virgin who can't drive, whose parents are the worst in the world. They wanna finish raising Max and his sister in a quiet suburban town totally devoid of 300 year old cursed witches waiting to be resurrected. So they move the family to Salem, Massachusetts. As it turns out, being a 90s teenager at a new high school is not all that in a bag of potato chips, so Max is totally bugging. He doesn't have time to do boring kid things like take miniature Thora Birch trick-or-treating so that their parents can get drunk and maintain their membership in the worst parents in the world club. He does, however, have time to follow the prettiest girl in school, Allison, out to a haunted witch house, where he pretty much immediately sets flame to a cursed candle that just so happens to bring the Sanderson sisters back to life on Halloween. Only a virgin can successfully light this candle, which is no problem for Max because he's a total dweeb. Abstinence by Walt Disney Pictures. Once the Sanderson sisters are brought back to life, they immediately get to work on claiming the life of a child so that they can achieve their ultimate goal of maintaining their youth and beauty. Feminism by Walt Disney Pictures. Obviously, Max doesn't want them to succeed because it means that they'll probably steal the soul of his sister, miniature Thora Birch which means everyone will hate him and he'll probably be a virgin forever. Basically, not to spoil the whole movie, but do you see any witches hanging around here? American Horror Stories Coven sold separately. Hocus Pocus was directed by Kenny Ortega, who also directed all high school musicals and newsies, so pretty much all of his work has something to do with young people being brainwashed in some capacity. Strike, 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 strike. This doesn't feel coincidental to me, since part of the reason Hocus Pocus is such a phenomenon is that it's been perpetually replayed on one of the greatest brainwashing machines in modern civilization, also known as ABC Family. Brainwashing also plays heavily into one of the movie's best scenes, which includes a fantastic I Put a Spell on You musical number. Because when Bette Midler agrees to be in your movie, it'd be rude for it not to. Brainwashing or not, these days, Hocus Pocus is as closely associated with Halloween as, oh, I don't know, say, pumpkins. Some people are even rallying for a Hocus Pocus sequel, but I'd be happy with a live musical extravaganza in any of the Disney theme parks. Just don't tell Banksy I said that, because I kind of want him to think I'm cool. Roo-magoo, magoo 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 Oh my goo, oh my goo, oh my goo. Oh my goo. Come little children, we're all in this together. So strike, 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 strike.